is just going to be a quick video on cassette toilet built-in option for a cassette toilet inside the four-wheel pop-up campers. Different models have different features, different doors, different fillers. Our flatbed models, the water comes directly from the water tank into the cassette toilet itself. This particular model is a front dinette, regular slide-in unit, so the water fill is back here. Stick your garden hose in here and fill it up to the, the top line inside of there. That way it's toilet's full for flushing water. You can close that and lock it. That's the only thing this door does. It's just a filler for your fresh water to flush the toilet from the inside. After you've used the toilet, there's two buttons here. Push those buttons at the same time, the door will come open. Cassette is built in here. It's locked in there, and underneath here, there's a little handle. So just slide your fingers back in here, pinch it, just pinch it and lift up, and it'll slide right out. So this is all of your waste. This is an airtight, watertight container to dump it. There's handles. You take your cap off. You can set that aside and you can dump it in a restroom, a dump, RV dump station in the ground. Then you can put a little bit of fresh water in here, slosh it around, rinse it out, dump it out again. Go ahead and close that up. There's chemicals that you can also put in here. Usually about a, maybe an ounce of blue, blue chemicals that come with these that goes inside, you put it in this tube with a little bit of, just a little bit of fresh water. And then from there, you'll slide this back in there. Close the door and you're ready for your next trip. We'll go inside next and I'll show you the seat, the flush and the trap valve. This is the inside four wheel camper, cassette toilet built in. This is optional on the front dinette. There's a countertop up here and a curtain that covers this during the day. We've, we've flipped it up there. You have storage up here for shower curtains and toiletries, more storage in here. Propane tanks are behind this. This is your fresh water filling, your seat, and your seat is on a swivel. So you can twist that seat, lift it up, sit normally, legs out in the aisle way. Flushing water is here, and it's done by a hand pump on this particular model. Each camper is a little different. Front dinette, this is the style toilet we install on a flatbed camper. Next door, we have a different space requirement, so we use a toilet that's built in that has an electric flush. It doesn't have the hand pump on the flatbed. This one's pretty easy to use. You have a seat, man seat. Back down in here, there's a flap. There's a waterproof, airtight flap seal. And that handle is right back here. It's hidden. But if you reach your hand back here, you can open and close that flap. What a lot of customers will do in the RV world, camping for ease of use, like your toilet at home, it's a good idea to have a little water in the bowl. So they'll keep that flap closed. They'll give it a few flushes. So you have a couple of inches of water in there take care of their business, and then they'll open their flap here, let everything go down in there, give it a couple of flushes, close that flap, it's clean. You have an airtight seal again, close the lid, slowly it all over, and then if you want privacy, you can fold over the countertop, bring your curtain down. Simple toilet, it's comfortable, it's built in, goes, goes a little bit longer usage because the holding tank's bigger than a porta potty. Your cassette is outside. This is what we showed you earlier. So your waste is going into the cassette. Your fresh water flushing is up here. Seat, flap valve to let everything go down into the tank. Lockable water fill outside. Only thing to do in the winter time, just winterize it. Give it enough flushes where this, this water tank is empty. Empty your cassette toilet down here and that's the, the best thing you can do if you can get as much water out of the tank, as much water out of the holding area, and as much water, the little residue of water in the water lines and store it empty in the winter. 
that's the best way for having less problems with freezing. <laughs>